I love Machine. I have Machine Mark I, the hardware media controller here that I've had since 2010, maybe 2012, something around sometime between those two years. Um, I love this guy. I love how well this bad boy works directly with the machine software. Uh, this is still the Mark I, so it's still got the older knobs, and I love the endless encoders on here. I love the workflow. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I also really love my MPC Live too. I love taking this guy on planes with me. I love taking this guy to parks. I love just being able to jam out on this guy and have immediate fun and be able to grab some samples. Now, the thing about this guy, the machine, is the expansion packs were so wonderful for it. I've been collecting expansion packs for like 10 years and having a curated list of samples that all go together well in these 16 pads, whether it is the ones I built or whether the ones that machine native instruments have created, is wonderful. I love the fact that I can use them and fully start creating and dive right in. And that's another reason why I love the MPC Live too. I can sit there and I can make my whole 16 pad group or program here and create a bunch of different sounds, or I can just use something that's already kind of pre-made and dive right in, whether that's like a splice kit that I've downloaded or a built-in kit or something else. I love the fact that I can dive in and stuff, doing stuff creatively. Luckily, there's a program I found called Kit Maker. And for literally 30 bucks, you can get all of your expansions from machine into the MPC Live 2 ridiculously easy. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So Kid Maker is a very simple program. Um, I downloaded this. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can download it too. Again, it's 30 bucks. I'm no way affiliated with them. I spent $30. I'd probably do it again if I had to. If I lost this license key for any reason in my email, I'd probably do it again because it's such a good program. What it allows you to do is right here on the left, you can click import and you can insert your machine library folders here. You also have the chance of selecting sample pack if you want. I prefer just to use machine. Um, I haven't done any of my sa own per personal sample packs. and There's a couple extra settings you have to make sure are aligned. But machine will make it nice and easy if you're using machine packs. Finally, you can pick the layout. Here, I'm going to stick with classic because that's what I already know all the machine stuff is already in. The classic layout makes it really easy. And then up here, we've got output formats here as well. You have Akai MPC. Ding, ding, ding. That is going to be for the MPC Live 2. You also have a couple other things here. And you can even output it to Ableton, which is super neat. Now, before we get started, I want to make a quick note. All of this is totally fine. If you own the wave samples from Machine, you own them soup to nuts. You can do whatever you want with them. You own the wave files to be able to use however you want. So in this instance, what we're going to do is we are going to take these sample kits and put them into KitMaker. But what's cool about all this is we're going to get the full pads and all, all the ways the kits of programs are already developed. It's so neat. So now what I'm going to do is I need to get my Machine library folders here. To do that, if you guys use Native Instruments products, you already know about Native Access. It is how they register and authorize and install all the products you buy from them. You enter serials here, you install it. Every single plugin has this now. I feel like there was probably good money in software that softwares that could develop this. Like iLock probably is used by a ton of programs and plugins now. Um, super cool ideas. But now I can go, let's say this faded reels, for example, right? It's kind of a lo-fi drum, a lo-fi elements sample pack, which I really like. And I've been missing it, to be honest with you. I used to love producing with it. I can click on these three dots in Native Access. I can check out the installation path right here. Boom. That is where this content is located. Music Production Samples Faded Reels Library. Now all you have to do is navigate to that, which I've already done in my finder here. And we have it right here. You can also see I have a ton of other libraries in here from what I've collected over the past 10, 12 years. And... I can use all of them. It's so neat. I love the fact that now I can take all these with me. I can use all these curated packs wherever I want and put them in the machine and take them with me portably. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so neat. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to click and drag the Faded Reels library into the insert here. We've already went over the layout and the output formats. We already know those are good to go. And we're going to simply click Make Kits. Now it's going to process the kit. Oh, it's telling me I previously created kits were skipped because I've already done this. Wanted to save some time. Can click OK and it says kits finished. We can click show kits. And now in my desktop, I have a new folder called Kit Maker Kits. And boom, we have machine kits and faded reels library specifically with all of the XPM files, which are the actual groupings of the samples, the program files, the wave files individually as well. And then finally, we also have previews, which we'll get into in just a little bit. So now we've done that. We've got the computer ready to go. But how do we get the samples from the computer onto the MPC Live? You have a couple of options. You can either, one, use some sort of SD card and transfer it into the back right here. 
Two is you can use some sort of USB stick if you want or and put it in the back right there as well. Or what I have hooked up here is I have this USB cable because I have an internal SSD installed in the back of this. If you guys have not installed an internal SSD into the back of your MPC Live 2, do it. Even if it's a small one, just do it. It reads it so fast, it's so well, and you'll never run out of space, really, as long as you are pretty smart about your samples and your file size. So now I've got this kit, I've got this USB cable connected from here into my computer. I can simply go into the MPC Live and I can go into menu. I can click on this little MPC microchip right here, and I'm going to put it in controller mode. Now, you're probably thinking controller mode. That's probably most likely something for using it as a MIDI controller because it can do that as well. You can use it with Ableton very well. I've never tried that. Apparently, you can do it. But in controller mode, you can also access the SSD without taking it out. You can access the internal MPC drive, which has some storage in it for your samples because that guy actually is specific to the program and a lot of other things that you don't have full access to. But you can access the SSD this way, and it makes it super easy. So now that we're in here, it says looking for computer. I'm going to go back to my computer here. And we can see, bam, I've got the Panzer unit here right now. The Panzer unit is my go-to for... Or it's my internal SSD. I just named it after a Zoids um, mech or a Zoid. A true Zoid. If you haven't watched the show Zoids, you're probably uh, older or younger than me. Um, it's very limited time. It was cool in America. Um, but I can open this in the new tab. And I can see here that I can just click and drag these MPC kits from here into the Panzer unit. So I can show you guys that real quick. I already have it right here. So it's probably going to prompt me to, if I want to overwrite, I'm just going to click stop because I don't want to replace. But you can see now I've got the machine kit, the faded reels library, and I've got all of the samples ready to go. Okay, cool. So now we've done all of that. We've done all the work on getting it ready to go and having the library ready. Now what we need to do is get it ready on the MPC Live too and make sure we can start accessing it because now it's ready to go. So now we're going to dive in here. And I am going to go into standalone mode on the MPC Live 2. It's going to ask me if I've safely ejected. I click yes because I have. And now I can go into my browser section right here. It'll probably give me a warning. Yeah, download directory could not be found. That's a splice error. Ignore that. That's something else I got to figure out. But now I can go into my browser here. I can go into my places. I can go into my pans unit, which we heard before. And we see machine kits right here and then Faded Reels Library, and now... <laughs> you hear all these cool wave files of different sounds, right? So cool. But as I mentioned earlier, you have access to more than just the wave file. You actually have the program grouping of the 16 pads. So what I made a mistake of originally is I forgot about these filters up here, but these filters allow you to search a directory specifically for programs or .xbm files. And boom. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these are not actual patterns. that They don't load the pads on here directly. Instead, what they do is they're just giving you this little wave file of the loop compressed that machine also accesses from when you're looking for sounds. Um, so yeah, great shout out to KitMaker for doing this because this makes it so much easier to preview things and also to hear what the whole kit sounds like, which I think is pretty neat. So now let's just go ahead and pick one. Oh, this is a cool one. All right, let's pick this one. So I'm just going to click on here. and It's going to load it. And now... We've got all the samples right here. Some of them are loud. But now we can go in here and start editing however we want. Um, now, the last thing I want to note here on this video is a little pro tip is these don't come with the choke groups or mute groups that machine would have normally or like your normal, you know, drum sampler or drum sequencer that you go in and use would have. Um, you have to do that in MPC Live manually. Uh, if KitMaker could do that, I don't know if that's possible because it's a machine, but just a little, you know, recommendation. If you guys could figure that out, that'd be super cool. The choke groups. And maybe you do, and maybe these things just aren't loading correctly, but let me know. So now we can go here, we can select, let's select two pads that obviously we wouldn't want playing at the same time. So those are kind of overlapping on each other, right? It'd be cooler if it one came after they kind of make it monophonic, right? So we can go to our program edit here, select the first pad, go to our mute group, change it to one. On the second pad, go to mute group one as well, right? So they're in the same group and now,
So now they're all there. Super cool. Uh, and that's basically it in a nutshell. So now you know you can use KidMaker, access your machine library folders through Native Access, click and drag those folders in the KidMaker, export them, put them either on a, 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 a the internal SSD that you uh, put in your MPC Live 2 or an external SD card or a USB drive, whatever you want, access them from here and go to town and make some cool beats. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys uh, liked this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Please comment if you learned something. If you have any questions, I'm here to help. And yeah, give me a subscribe if you like my vibe. I'm trying to grow my fan base. And I can't tell you how much I thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much for following along. Actually, random story. I got a subscriber yesterday and he commented saying how much my MPC Live 2 with Splice Samples video convinced him to buy this. And now he's bought an MPC Live 2 just because of how much he liked that video. I thought that was super cool. It made me super warm in my heart. So thank you to that subscriber. I really appreciate you. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video again. And I'll leave you with me making a beat. So peace.